A Mount Druid man who survived a cardiac arrest at Wynyard train station says he owes his life to the staff there. Wayne Hill met up with his rescuers today as a new initiative was announced to donate a defibrillator to charity for every life saved on the rail network. 71-year-old Wayne Hill smiles from ear to ear as he reunites with his rescuers who helped bring him back to life. Overwhelmed to see him, you know. Overwhelmed for good reason. It was here while entering Wynyard Station to head off home. Wayne collapsed and stopped breathing. Wayne wasn't great, so blue lips, um, no, no pulse, um, no breathing. Rob Austin, the station's customer service manager, used a nearby defibrillator. Attendant Sarah Collins also swung into action. We jumped in and helped with the compressions and was yeah we just kept going until the ambulance came. That took about 11 minutes and in that time Wayne received two shocks from the life-saving machine. Oh, they're fabulous. It you know, they should be everywhere. After the incident, two more defibrillators were added to Wynyard train station. There are now 166 portable machines across the Sydney trains network. In the past 12 months alone, they've helped save three lives. Around 25,000 Australians suffer a cardiac arrest outside of hospital each year. Sadly, only 10% of them survive. Sydney Trains and the machine supplier will now donate a new defibrillator to charity for every life saved on the network. It's very pleasing to see Legacy as one of the beneficiaries in terms of that donation. Wayne, who has a history of heart disease, now has a defibrillator implanted in his chest and looks forward to more reunions like these. Hello to him. And I hope that continues for many more years to come, the friendship. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News.